Bam! There we go. We're live. Whoa. I think we're live. Uh, wow. RC Maniac, can you hear me? Can you see me? Let me know. It's about 20 I'll... seconds behind. What's that? It's about 20 seconds behind. Is it? 20 yeah. seconds? Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to another live stream here. Well, I guess I should wait until RC Maniac says he can hear me. He can see and hear you. There it is. Oh, love that dude. Damn. Uh, welcome to another live stream. We are, uh, we are live with the BQB1 SE Plus 3D printer. This is the first BQ machine that I will have used. Uh, BQ is sponsoring this stream in that they want me to show it to you because it's being released today and it's interesting. So companies can sponsor live streams here on the channel, but when it's a live stream, anything goes. And so BQ has a lot of confidence in this because we're opening the box live. If there's shipping damage, I mean, we can mitigate that, but but if something happens, we're live. It should be fun. Uh, I've got chat over here. How's chat doing? Fernando DeMar DeMaria can hear you. Stock 3D printing likes my t-shirt. Uh, this is the USS 96%. And uh, a very kind individual uh, made this t-shirt in celebration of a certain live stream event. Do you remember? <laughs> I don't, actually. That was when... Uh, that was when we were over here. Oh yeah. And the craft bot got to the tippy top smokestack oh. <laughs> oh, of a, uh, it's a benchy and then it fell over. Yeah, that's right. And then I was like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I took my, my own nose and I paired it with uh, a SpaceX launch that, you that know, blew failed? up. And I was like, right. yes, yes, no, no. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. High tech redneck. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, I love a good live stream. Uh, my drink of choice tonight is uh, Monster Juice Chaotic. This is not sponsored in any way. It's just this is what I picked up at the grocery store before I headed in. Andrew Rogers with a tenner. That's two fives. Starting the evening's milkshake fund. Oh, listen, I was supposed to pick up some water for Sean at the grocery store, and I forgot. Womp womp. Um, because there was so much thing, so many ching, things to choose of, and there's only so much space in my brain. And so once I picked something, something else had to leave, and that was the get Sean water. So uh, I'm, I promised Sean a milkshake after the stream. Woo! I'm all right with that. There That's right. Go. Yeah, Sean likes milkshakes. Yeah. Sean, Sean loves a good milkshake. So Andrew Rogers, thank you for the, thank you for the tenor. Really appreciate that. Uh, how's everybody? How's everybody else in here? Uh, BQ Ayla, BQ Ayla. I, I, I'm gonna assume you're a BQ person. Issue. Yeah, someone said sounds like wrong mic is hot. That's what I'm seeing. Is well. Audio sounds good. Uh, Sean's mic is cleaner than Joel's. Ah. DB3D Dan. Hey, 3D printing nerd. Which daughter cut your fingers? Here, zoom in. Ah. I'm not really. I'm not really good at that. Um, uh, my daughter Riley was like, hey, dad, can I paint your nails? And I'm like, yes, but you get to pick two fingers. And uh, she picked these two and she gave me blue. And then because um, I'm terrible, I guess, uh, I guess in use, nail polish rubs off. Uh, it splinters. It breaks away. Sure. Um, I guess that's a thing. That's a thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So Riley got me. Yeah. Andrew Humphrey with a tenor. My brother and I have something cool. We're going to make you for a fan mail Friday unboxing. Ooh, can't wait for that. Thanks, Andrew. Stock 3D printing with a Canadian fiber. $9.99. $9.99? You can't, I can't ask if you are out of your mind because that, those don't compute. But thank you for the Canadian fiber. Okay. I know a, a single is a loony. Uh, a $2 piece is a toonie. What's a $5 piece? A foony? 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 I don't know. Ben, uh, Ben with him, with a fiver. A fiver to fix your audio. I, I dropped my mic a little bit. So maybe, because I don't want to be, obviously, louder than you. Uh, sure. Audio is good here. High five from Chist Up The Way in Marysville. Uh, people are saying louder. Louder. Joel needs to be louder. Well, here, I'll tell you what. That's, hit the, that's never a thing. Well, <laughs> hit the one. No, no, well, I guess you could adjust with that. Or you can do that. Because yours at, remember the level in there is 30, yours is at 35 on I know, two. and yours is, th is 15 because you're such a loud person. 
I know. Well, put it on 35 and see what happens. I don't know. I'm not going to put you on 35. Okay. Hell no. Now Sean is low. Well, I dropped my I dropped my level, so let me see if I can. Okay, pop, we're pop working on it. Audio is happening. So if I look in OBS, audio is like, it's up there. It's up there. Are you processing? No. Tripods Garage with a tenor. That's level. two fives. I am that kicking off the Adult Frosty Beverage Fund. Only way to kick off a live unboxing and first print stream. I would have to agree with you. Uh, I probably will. Okay, I thought about getting like a growler of a tasty IPA and having it here because I feel like I deserve it and um, didn't. Giebler, 137 with a fiver. That's a high five to you right there. Fiver for high fives. Lots of those. Hybotic says I find I, I sound okay. Free gain is not as important as proximity and sources volume. So my sources is right here. Yep. Why don't you put it back to 35? I'm not putting it up at 35. That's crushed it. You crushed it. You were crushing it. Okay. BTR Plumbing, 199. Are you out of your mind? Hey, Joel, can I get first print? I don't know the answer to that. Maybe? We'll find out. I think what I might do in the future is have a way so people can bid for it without actually having to send in the money that they bid. Because usually in an auction, only the winner pays for it. But, but when people up their bids in the chat for the first print, it means that people are just paying a bunch of money. Okay, people are saying I sound good now. Yeah, we're going to leave it as we're... I, I turned you up to 20, and uh, I dropped my... Uh, up my little bit. So I think 20 it is. We should be good. Daryl Adams with a, a fiver. It says A. Is that an Aussie? Is that an Aussie five? You're, you're an Aussie. Maybe. You're not. <laughs> I don't know. Tri uh, cheese balls. Have a good night. So it looks like a Vishal Pie, another I3 Ender clone grown. It is what it is, man. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have fun while we do it. This isn't a review of the machine. This is a first print and community engagement where we like to have lots of fun and discover things. This is how we got talking about cheese for a half hour one time. That was a lot of fun. Aaron F. Geard, you sound melodious. I'm going to take that as a positive note. I'm going to take that as an, as, a, as an indicator that we need to get this box open. Correct. Get that box. Yeah, yeah. Bringing it in here. Ooh, Bringing nice. it in here. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. I know you generally don't want to cut towards yourself, but uh, screw it. Uh, I'm being careful while I do it. Sure. Oh, look at that. Okay. Chris Russell just texted me. Audio is fine. Leave it alone before you break something. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fair. Love you, Chris. Uh, inside the box, we have uh, some styrofoam, and it looks to be really well packed. I, you know what? If you ever have to ship someone something, this is good stuff to have around. Look at it. It's cleaned up back here. There's actually room to toss this stuff. <laughs> it's room to make a mess. Correct. Oh, practical printing. Buck 99, you out of your mind? Audio's fine. Leave it alone before you break it. Yeah, and he just texted me that, too. Hybotics. Hybotics with $1.23. That's um, oddly specific. It's, um, this is a... In here? This is fun. So this was in my car in the trunk, and it was warm today. So the, these bags here in my hand, these are warm. And... Um, Someone left a comment one time saying that I broke out my really nice hex drivers and I used those to assemble. And they said, you should only assemble the machine with the tools they provide. That's what we're going to do. DC Sublime with a 50 because I am nifty. That's 10 fives. That's 10 fives. I just five did fives. 10 and then fives. Yeah. You're a beautiful human. People should write books about you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. The bags are a little bit warm. Uh, they give you uh, a little bit of 50 grams. Look at that, 50 grams of PLA. Hey. Uh, 
Should we use that? Yep. Oh, yep, we're going right. to use it. All right. What the heck is that? Okay. Uh, there's a user manual. There is a dear customer. Thanks for support. Feel free to reach out with some uh, QR codes. I don't know. You want to you show those off? Those are QR codes that go to various places on the internet. I'm pretty sure it's not a Rick roll, but you never know. You never know. Never know. Never know. Until you try. Graydon, uh, the amount of Ender 3 clones is crazy, to be honest. You know what? That is fair. That is a fair thing to say. I think that um, I think that the bed slinging i3 frame of a 3D printer is ubiquitous with low cost and it can be high quality. It's almost like we're getting to the point where a certain style of 3D printer is like, uh, I mean, there are many brands of tissue, but we call it Kleenex. So maybe, maybe that's where we're headed. Uh, I'm not gonna look at the user manual quite yet. It oh, does look different. nice though. It is full color. Oh, oh, oh and it's that. smooth. Oh, that's weird. It's smooth. <laughs> Timothy Elkington with 420. Have you ever tried printing Delrin or Palm? I haven't. I have not. Uh, someday I will. In here, I'm going to guess this is the bed. We're just going to set that right there. BQ likes to send little rubber ducks with their, their equipment. There is a rubber duck. Do you see that? Oh, I can now. Little Look rubber ducky. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Wow. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm so very fond of you. Do, 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 do. Just taking out the, the foam packaging here. There it is. Here's the upright. Ooh, one of the things I do want to show, and I'm sure there will be opinions about this. Um, this is, quote unquote, a large format 3D printer, uh, BQ, for one reason or another, has decided to only put one lead screw on it. And I know there are people that say one lead screw is the way. I know Chuck Hellebuck likes his single lead screws. Uh, other people are like, you need two because, because you need two. So that's where we sit. Ooh, there's some chats coming in here. Builders Mark 1099. Are you out of your mind? You are out of your mind. I can't believe you're wearing the shirt. That's awesome. Here's for a high five and adding to the beverage fund. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Builders Mark. Yeah, he was the one that sent this, oh, this shirt in. It's a fantastic sense. shirt. Alan Klein with a fiver, high five. I've been looking for a cheap Core XY. Do you know of any under 400 that will work? I don't, not at this time. Um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not well versed on the Core XY market of 3D printers. I know that um, the, the Ender 7? Yeah. The Ender 7 is Core XY, but I don't, I don't think I don't it's think, under $400. Yeah, I don't think that's so cheap though. Mm. There we go. So this phone Your comes phone. out. And there's stuff in there. I'm just, oh, there's stuff right here. Ooh. More foam. There's the base. It is uh, not too heavy. More foam. The bed is uh, permanently affixed to the the bed rails and the uh, bracket, so we know that this must have auto leveling. What is this? Oh, this is going to be the uh, this is going to be the hot end right here. A little bit of foam. I didn't realize we are going to have you assemble the hot end. I didn't know that either. Uh, so just, just taking a look at it, though, uh, it looks as if, so it's got a, here, have a look. It's that sort of connector for the hot end. Oh, so, okay. One of those that locks into place, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and then the Bowden tube is separate, which is nice. Uh, leveling, though, there's no BL touch. There's no uh, sort of... Uh, pin to probe, so it might be Is done through capacitive? touch. Yeah, might be. Uh, I'm just trying to think. So it's not a not like uh, the CR6. I don't think. I don't think it's a force 
sensor. There's no, I don't think. I just, uh, I don't know. I'm just taking guesses at this point before we get the box. So there's no uh, knobs or anything on it either? Nothing? No, no knobs on the bed. Okay. Go. Well, this is it. I guess it's time to get this installed. How's everybody doing? Eric Smith, looking kind of CR6 ish. Yeah. I would say ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, ish. I think the, the build volume's bigger, though. Looks like it. Uh, like, what is the build volume? It looks pretty close to. I wonder little, if it'll be in here. Maybe a little under CR10. A little under 300. Oh, the, the instructions are fantastic though. I mean, they are, oh, here, have a look. Can you see that? Yeah. Look at that. Good paper too. Well, I, guess, I guess we follow the instructions. Wait, here we go, here we go. It is um, 310 by 310 by 340. Oh, okay, that was a little off. So a little bit wider on X and Y, and a little bit shorter on Z than like a, a, a 334 sort of configuration. Is it a CR10 310 though, if they just call it 300? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Some, I, what, some printer is, I forget what it is. It says maximum operating speed is 180 millimeters a second, and max printing speed is 100 millimeters per second. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah. Julian Simmental with a fiver, that's a high five right there, recently bought a Delta style printer for a good price and never used one. How do you feel about Delta style printers? I feel, I really like them. Uh, they're fun to watch. They look like uh, spiders kind of moving around, their legs going up the columns. Uh, I have a CME CNC Artemis. I also have um, an FL Sun, the racer one that I got to get out on a live stream. That'll probably be next week. Deltas are fun. They're their own sort of uh, crazy, cool sort of additive machine. Um, I'm staring at a print from my Artemis. I'm staring at it right now. It took more than four days to do. And uh, I'm not going to show you. But it's a, for an upcoming video. It's a free model. And it's really cool. But I can't wait to show you. But anyway, Delta printers. Did you get you know. uh, Brett's Brett? Super Chat? Yeah. Brett Packard. So thanks for the serenade. The, the rubber ducky. Oh, Brett Packard with a fiver. I'm sorry I missed that, man. Brett Packard with a high five. The serenade with the ducky. Yeah, I would say it was almost like a cross between Ernie of Bert and Ernie and Kermit the Frog. Yep. Right? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, because it's... Uh, <clears throat> Hi, oh, Kermit the Frog here. So that's my Kermit the Frog. But Ernie's like, you know, hey, Bert. Kind of, so it's like an in-between. I'm not good at voices. I never said I was. Uh, I need to put these onto here. Sure, sure. Okay. Oh, so it looks like for the uprights, the bolts go in either side, and so you don't have to, like, find your way under the machine Wonderful. in order to put it together. So that's really nice. I just got to find... Uh, so here's my bag of tools. Here are the screws. Again, I'm only using the tools provided to put the machine together. I mean, it's okay. So, these, are, oh, okay. Uh, there's two different type of screws used. Um, where's the... And... So it looks like the, so it's got these longer screws. Their screws, step two. So M five by 50. Ah, okay. I got this figured out. I think I got this figured out. There's one long screw that attaches uh, the extrusions together. So there's extrusions within the, the sheet metal here. And then these brackets are held on by these okay. smaller um, eight millimeter screws. 
It makes sense in my head. Did I miss a, a four ninety nine? I don't know. Bladeborn Studio four ninety nine. Are you out of my? Are you out of your mind? Those nails are fantastic. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Finally seeing a stream live. Fun times. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Glad you could make it. We do like to have fun around here. Occasionally. Kit, greetings everyone. How goes the madness? Or is it too early to tell? Too early. I think it's really too early to tell. <laughs> is this too far away? No. Okay, good. Too far away? Some, I don't know. That's why I was asking. Try this one first. No, I'll try the small ones first. Do it. There's a bracket on the, each side, and each bracket takes four screws, and then the extrusion takes one long screw. So that's what I'm, see. I'm doing first. The long screw? No, 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 no. I'm using the shorter screws. That makes more sense. Just trying to, because you kind of have to hold it up. <laughs> right. This is all a bunch of uh, hide it mounts. You know, hide it, hide it in. I don't. So it basically allows you to just install different electronics like a PS5 or something, or an Xbox or whatever, on your wall right next to your TV and kind of run cables behind it so you can't see the cables. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. These are not that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just doing a lot, been a lot of doing a lot of screwing lately into, into walls. I mean, it's gonna look nice at the end though. That's right. I think it's gonna look really cool at the just end. Just like this, when it's all assembled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Sorry I can't really show you what I'm doing, but uh, here, there you go. So the oh, difference, okay. oh, God. here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hold these up, Sean. You One can, next time. okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So this one right here, the, the long one, that's the one that goes through the extrusions and holds the extrusion to the extrusion. These are the ones that hold the bracket to the sheet metal frame. Hmm. But there's a huge difference in the size of these screws. Just a bit. Just, like it's huge. Might use the same Allen key. So it looks like that longer screw to hold the extrusion to the extrusion is kind of what you use to line it up. And then those four that hold the bracket on are for stiffness and rigidity. At least that's what I think. But I like it. It's a neat way to sort of put these together. So I kind of know what I'm doing. I'll try to keep you on uh, this side so you can see it. Sean, is that visible? Mm, yeah. Okay. Chris Borge with an uh, A5, A5. A5. If it's Aussie 5, thanks for the Aussie 5. I, I, that's the only thing I can think of that the A would start with. Uh, hey, Joel, here's a milkshake. I'm not sure how much do they cost in the US. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You can spend. It depends where you go, but uh, you could get a designer milkshake for ten bucks, easy. What is a designer milkshake? You know, it's it, you know you. Well, it's like a, a steakhouse. You go to a steakhouse and you you buy a steak. It's going to cost a lot of money. Sure. So so if you get a designer milkshake, it's almost like getting a, a steak at a steakhouse. It's just it's it's an expensive milkshake. I don't know. Maybe they use high quality ice cream. Or maybe the, maybe the cows all get to listen to Michael Bublé as they get milked that make the dairy for the ice cream. Yeah, do they take the cows out for dinner first? Or? I think so. Gotcha. They listen to some light jazz. <laughs> Normally when assembling a 3D printer, you can... Put something on in the background, like someone else's live stream, or a TV show, or I don't know, take your pick. Um, 
but because you just have to consume the time in which it takes you to do certain things, this isn't going to be the most exciting thing that's happening right now. But we're getting it done. It's the important part. Yeah. Better. There we go. Nice. Hey, while everybody's here, I have to ask, did you enjoy the episode last week? Last week? Last Sunday. This last Sunday week, about the Diabase H5400. Just a couple days ago. We had an amazing time there. We sure did. Learning about it. Um, and we, let's see. There's Tiffany, there's Steve, and there's Austin. Steve and Austin are who I knew before from, uh, that made the flexion stuff. And then Tiffany is, is helping out, I think, with marketing. I think we didn't get to meet Tiffany at the time, but we got to see Austin and we got to see Steve again. And we went out for beers and ice cream afterwards. And it was just a good time. Hey, well, look at this. We've got, uh, also, you've got, uh, you've got a super chat. Do I have a super chat? You sure do. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. We got a couple. Loyal Moses, 99.99. You, sir, are out of your mind. My goodness. Loyal has been tweeting about this outdoor theater he built up on his ranch, and it's glorious. And I just, I really want to see it in person someday. I want to go. Sean does too. Maybe watch Power Rangers on it. Hell yeah. <laughs> David Randolph, 99.99. You, sir, are out of your mind. What? Last time I heard of a $5 milkshake, I was watching the dinner scene, diner scene in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. $5 shake, right? $5 shake. I put the screws in the wrong place? What? Did I put the screws in the wrong place? Yeah, you did. You sure did. Oh, I did. <laughs> Just random holes. Hey, they fit, though. They <laughs> sure did. Well, oh wait a God. minute. Did I'm I... too busy laughing to, to show. No wonder they tightened up so well. Hey, you know what? You had a close-up view of it, and you didn't even notice. I no, I. You know what? Honestly, legitimately, I said I think those are in the wrong hole. In my head, I'm like, nah. No Did way. You? Yes, Did you? Yes. Did you? Yes. Personally, I was like, yeah. Okay. Whoever said I put the screws in the wrong holes, like you're correct. <laughs> just, I'm just trying to build a printer here. Oh my goodness. Nice. Things together on a stream can be tricky sometimes. Yeah. I must have, you know what? I was putting them in over there and you're like, look at these super chats. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's my fault. No, no, no. No, 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 it's my fault. No, it's my fault because I can't do more than one thing at a time. I okay. <laughs> I, was, I was happy to take the blame. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh no, what are people saying? Loyal Moses, 999. This super chat comes from space. Oh, that's right, he got Starlink. He nice. can now communicate via space. Corey Leeton, 499. You out of your mind? Nice shirt. Hey, Builders Mark, people like this shirt. The USS 96%. <laughs> Maybe if you had a merch store, people would buy one. That'd be fun. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to adjust the eccentric nuts. They look to be. To be a little loose. How's this guy? Oh, that's on there. That's on there just fine. Just fine. Uh, that goes around there. There is a belt tensioner on Y. Nice. I love that. Look at this. They do oh, give you a nice oh, pair of snips, oh. which I can clear this a mess of cables. zip tie. Oh, it is. It is a mess of cables. Here, let's turn it around. Look at all these cables. Hello. Look at all these cables. Okay. Um, they're using, it's a, it's a similar uh, strain relief mechanism as to uh, like, like what people, the community engineered for, I think like the CR10 style 3D printers, that thing that attaches over here and then you can kind of hold the cables too. So it looks like, uh, I don't know, that looks okay. Uh, there's, there's these cables here. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have to 
connect those all up. <laughs> it's gonna go here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not following the directions. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're just I'm going. just going for it and uh, putting screws in wrong holes. Step two, nozzle installation. Oh, you skipped a lot of stuff. What? <laughs> no, I didn't. That's step two. I know. I'm just saying. Step one was machine, like putting in the screws. Gotcha. Step two was putting on the nozzle. So I got to put on the nozzle. Let's do it. What's everybody doing? Someone said, uh, if you 3D print your cold basement is from Tyler Barnes, do it using a printer without thermal runaway protection. Warm that place up. <laughs> Yeah, you only need you, you only need to do that once. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Align the threaded hole of the nozzle with the threaded holes on the sheet metal part. Fix the nozzle with sheet metal part with M three by six screws. M three by six. Okay. Nice. So they do label M three by six. What does that say there? What step is that? Step three. Ah, but this is referenced in step two. Maybe the instructions aren't final. Face is final though. And my face is final. Apparently. I'm excited to get milkshakes after this. <laughs> Me too. Okay. I'm supposed to line this up. I hope they do not see that. Line it up? Is that? Okay. I mean I can do that. To turn it towards me so I can see. Makes sense. I'm really sorry. You are off the frame. Just FYI. Well, I know, but you're on that camera, right? Well, now I am. I just have all these parts here. Yeah. I guess our wide shot needs to be wider. You're wider. I hey, am wider. That's mean. I'm sorry. It's all right. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm almost an eighth of a ton, so I mean, you're just telling me the truth. You big meanie. I didn't mean it. It's not what I meant. But sure, let's keep talking about milkshakes. <laughs> my, uh, I posted the After the Five on my uh, Patreon and for YouTube members and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And the text that along with, with it was like, watch me be a thick boy. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, there. It's that fair. was... It's fair. That was hashtag thick boy life. Everything's uh, tight in there. Uh, connect. This up to here. It is wrapped in uh, plastic. It is fantastic. It's fantastic. Thank you. So this is a, a blue PTFE tube. Uh, I don't know if is it's... It Capricorn? I don't think so. But, I mean, that's, that's kind of neat. That's the first non... I don't think it's Capricorn. I think they would have called that out. Probably. Um, I, it's neat to see that people are using some, some different colored PTFE. I'm just gonna... There we go. Tighten that in. More things I cannot see. I, I apologize profusely. <laughs> now assemble the spool holder. Nice. They want that to go on top of the machine. Ooh, hey, should we tease the video coming up Sunday? How is it you said should that? I? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, Sunday... Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. We have an extra special video where we attempt practical printing and we perform uh, a cost analysis to see if it was worth it. Yeah. That's good. Is it? Mm hmm Okay. Things get emotional. Things do get emo it's, it's It's very emotional. I'm actually excited for people to see this. I think it's going to inspire a lot of people too. It's going to inspire people. People are going to be like, wow, like, wait, 3D wow. printing can do that? They're going to be very Owen Wilson about it. 
Wow. Oh, they want it over here. Wow. Wow. No spoilers, but if you, uh, if, you, if you like Marvel and you are not watching Marvel's What If, you really should. It's been great so far. Two great There's episodes. Two episodes, and both of them are masterpieces. Yeah, man. I, I, I was no spoilers. No, no. I, I, was, I was watching. What was it? I was reading the, the review for the first episode and the second episode on IGN, actually. And they just dogged on the first episode. Really? Yeah. And then in the second episode, they're like... Making up for last week's lackluster performance, this episode, this week's episode was great. It's like, what are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> I, IGN <What>? hates women. <laughs> yeah, IGN hates women, yeah, I guess. Apparently, apparently there was water in it, so they had to rate it pretty high, pretty low, I mean. Macaro mm. uh, Siding, Canadian 759, which is 599, another milkshake, 599 US, 759 Canadian. Are you out of your mind, eh? I'd end with the eight. Oh, my God. Is that Canadianist? Uh, everybody, if you do have a beverage, take a moment. Uh, lift that beverage from its location. Bring it close to your face where you can enjoy some hydration and some caffeination. Slauncha. Sean's got water today. Which is Gaelic. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Good. I did. Or so next up. Cheers or health? One or the other. I think both. Yeah, actually. Sure. Yeah. Step four, line connection. Oh, this is where we plug all the electronics in. Did you get the other, I don't know, uh, Brent Day? I got Andrew Rogers, two bucks. What if? Amazeballs. Exactly. What if is fantastic. Is there another one up there that I might have missed? There's one big Brent thing. Day with a fiver says, hiya. And it's an animated GIF sort of thing with a yellow-haired person uh, spouting from a cloud, mm -hmm. which I think perfectly describes today. Yeah. What, uh, the BB 3D? Brian Vines? Where's Brian Vines? Up above that, five ninety nine. Really? Yeah, he's out of his mind. Oh, Brian Vines, five ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? All those cables, what a mesh! Oh, Brian, I legit, I just want to hug you. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't forget. That. I just want to hug you. Pooch, on Twitter, asked for dad jokes, and he tagged Brian Vines, which I think, because he did. If he didn't, I was gonna tag Brian Vines. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he's not doing though. Pooch is not watching this video. No, he doesn't. That's and that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, ho, 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 ro, ho, ho. Um. One. Oh, wire of filament detection. Okay, let's see if they're labeled. This could get fun. I've got E, X. X and FLUD. FLUD? <laughs> FLUD. I think FLUD is filament line detection. FLD? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it right there. Hey, I've got, uh, this is E. Extruder? I bet E is for extrusion, extruder, extruding. This is X for extraordinary, exquisite, Exemplary, and this is X, but this is going to be X for the end stop. Am I close? I can't say. What? Are you, uh, you, kind of, almost. You're Was almost, that really? We're almost there. Wow. 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 I really need more Owen Wilson and Disney stuff, like yeah. uh, in Loki. <laughs> Correct. I mean, well, he's been in a, he's, he had his own movie. Cars, Shh. cars kind of. Sure, it's but. Bizarre, but. But car, well, is Cars part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No, it's not. Maybe, one, maybe it's one day. Oh, look at this! They want you to route. They want you to take this and route it through here, so that the oh, these God. wires oh, support this, so that you can then bring it in for a landing right over. Oh my line. goodness! Clickety clack. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, that is a lot of wires back there. It's a lot of wires. I wonder, they do provide zip ties, which is good. The voltage switch. Should be in the back. The voltage switch. It, um, 
It says it's in the back, but I've got a sticker. No? Um, Junior's looking. I believe this is auto switching. Really? So it is 220 and 110. Well, here in the U.S., right, it's, <laughs> between power supplies that are auto-switching, or it's fine, but if you have to switch it between 110 and 220, if you live in a country with 220 as the main AC power, and you have it set to 110, that's when you let out the magic smoke. But because here in the U.S., 110 is our power standard, if we have it accidentally set to 220, it just doesn't power on. Right. No smoke. No. No smoke. Brian Vines, the end stops here. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian also has an, uh, an exquisite mane of hair. Agreed. Oh, that's just telling us how to. So it doesn't say to put on any zip ties yet, but it does provide them. Maybe they just know that it's a mesh and they want to. It's a mesh. It's provides you options. Uh, yeah. I am going to adjust this bed. Is it bed? Yeah. Go. Make it less wobbly. Ooh. Not She's wobbly. She's toy. She is toy. Almost there. Nice. Wow. 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 Jeez. Wow. It doesn't look flat. Oh, you took it away from me. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, over? I mean, we've been saying it. Just everybody in the everybody in the chat, if you could give me an Owen Wilson. Wow. 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 Just just give me a wow. <laughs> just it it could be a wow with two W's at the end as well, or a few O's in the middle. Just, you know, wow. How do you just that? how would you textually how do you represent that? Wow. <laughs> That's it. I have to design a 3D printed fixture and put a little Arduino inside of it. And when you push the button, a little speaker goes, wow. wow. I love it. Or I'm going to have Chelsea model an Owen Wilson in his TVA outfit. I just want you to, yes. And then he has a button in the back. Wow. Loki? Because he never. Loki? He never says it. Or jet ski. Yeah. He, he said it once. There was a wow in Loki once. It wasn't. It wasn't Loki. It, was, it wasn't him. It was Loki. Right. Right. Hey, look at that. Yeah, we got some wows. <laughs> we got some wows. Oh, the chat looks beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, wow. Look at the chat. <laughs> Jeez. It ran off with a meow. So we've we've retired the the anime wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, anime wow. Now Owen, becomes Owen Wilson. Lock. Owen Wilson. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Or we could also use Kachow. We could. For the for the really important ones, right. right? Right. Let's take a look at the bed surface. I was almost gonna be like, wow. Let's take a look at the bed surface. I got. <laughs> oh. I gotta save them. I gotta save those. Sorry. It's wrapped really well. I would imagine it's a it's a glass. Oh, uh, yep. Sure yep. is. Sure is. It is. It is a glass. The glass. Ooh, oh, oh, God. Please. There we go. Nice. Nice. So shiny. Shine bright like a diamond. So it looks like this is that, um, it was first popularized by any cubic. Some people, I think they call it the carborundum glass or it's a coated glass. So I believe the way that these work is upon heating the, uh, the little holes here, uh, I think they, they shrink just a little bit and then the filament lays down and they're sticky. And then when it cools down, they open up just slightly and I think that's what lets it pop off. I could be hyper wrong. Could be the opposite. Could be super the opposite. Uh, it's, it's surprising to see Camera. a 3D printer without a flex sheet Camera. from the factory at Hold this down. point. I just got a text. I got a text from my producer, David Tobin. Guess what it is? 
It's wow. Owen Wilson gif saying, wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Just going to take that off real quick. Do it. It's stuck under there. Sure is. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Got that out. Oh, it did give me. There we go. These are the clips to hold the bed on. I, uh, this is not my preferred method of holding a bed on, but if it works, so be it. It's just, uh, Okay. You know what I'm going to ask? Do you, can you get the ice football off? Home? <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be in that room. You moved it. I did. And you I didn't did. put it back. I did. I, no, I, I didn't put it back. I know. I am a bad friend. I'm a bad <laughs> friend. Brian Vines. This printer. This printer. <laughs> this printer certainly has. Appeal. Oh my gosh. Um, could you get me a, a rag? Do you, do you know where I got this rag from? No. Do you remember your favorite shirt? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Pooch took a video of me making this rag. Did he? Yeah, and he was going to send it he to you. He never sent it to me. Well, he's a bad friend. I just have bad friends. Bad friends. Uh, I'm going to plug it in. As I can, uh, I am going to put, it. put just. I'm just gonna dribble a little on there. God, this camera is not focusing for anything right now. Something's wrong. The universe is misaligned. Yeah, the manual focus. Why is it so difficult? Uh, there's some gunk. There's like gunk. There's some. I don't know if you're. Maybe you're not supposed to wipe these with ice propyl alcohol. Well, then you've made mistakes. Listen, we all make mistakes. You give me a napkin. <laughs> Maybe there's something on this. I don't know. McDarrow, it's right over there. Um, I've been cleaning up in here. Maybe there's no more paper. Maybe there's no more napkins. Wait, you had Subway. Did Subway give you napkins? You know, paper towels. All right. Well, well you know what? We're good. Yeah. Here's some napkins. Actual napkins. Napkins. Bridge. Ryan Schultz, please don't print another Chep Cube. But, but well, why? why? But, but but I love Chuck. He's like a, he's like a good person. There we go. You know what it was? The rag. Rag. You know what's on the rag? A whole bunch of like magic goo and vision miner nanopolymer adhesive and a bunch of stuff. I was trying to get the CR30 to get <laughs> stuck down. Mm. So anyway, stuff's gonna stick real good. Turn it on, ready? Ready, ready? No, I'm ready, ready, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ready, ready? Ready, ready? Ready, ready? Ready? Yeah, ready? BQ3D printer, B1SE+. Oh, it's got a color screen. I kind of like that. Uh, I like that they've got the bed and the nozzle temperatures right up front. Little cool icons. Got the name. That's actually legit. That's a really good user interface right there. Is it touchscreen? And it's touchscreen. And they've got a dial. So let's, well, I don't know. Let's explore. Uh, menu. Move, home, extrude, emergency stop, back, preheat, leveling. ABL. Um, it's, okay, it's heating the nozzle to 180, and it's heating the bed to 50. And then it's just going to go? And... I don't know if you can see it right there. It tells you the G code, I think, that it's going to execute. Well, that's interesting. Please clean the nozzle. Okay, nozzle's clean. 
Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Nate Williams with a fiber. I'm sure it's already been said, but I'm late and I like your haircut. We need a Joel Cube deal. I will make, I know Chep's got his Chep Cube, but we're going to have a 3DPN Cube. What do you think? I like that. It's just going to say Chep on it. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Actually, a 3DPN cube, I mean, Chep Cube, he works on Ender 3s and stuff. A 3DPN cube should be like 400, 400 by 400 yeah. by 400, exactly. right? Exactly, yes. It should or just, well, we could just go 10x, right? Chep cubes are 10 by 10 by 10? Yeah, so we can do 100. 100, 100 yeah. by 100 by 100. Yeah, I like that. That's a great idea. Hypotics, 3D printing nerd, are you going to open up that printer and let us see what's inside? Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. I might do that. Um, I am, uh, I want to get a first print done just because I really, I really, really want to do that. Um, and then we'll see what happens. It could be that uh, we crack it open on another stream. That could be fun. Ooh, you know, it'd be a fun stream where we don't assemble things. We just take them apart. Yes. Actually. Johnny Five disassemble. Actually, I have a number of machines that... I just don't want to look at it anymore. So maybe, and I don't know what about this one yet. Thanks for sponsoring the stream, BQ. <laughs> but other machines, like we could have an exploratory stream where we, we, take, we take the printers apart to find out what makes them tick or we recover parts or, I don't know, it could be fun. Let's see, we are at 47 on the bed. We're at 138, 139 out of, out of 140 on the nozzle. And something is gonna happen. Dark Plaza Garage, five. Okay, now it's gonna do a G28, it says. Dark right, Plaza Garage with a fiber. Is that a dual display? Touch screen and scroll. Push in the clicker wheel for three to five seconds. I don't wanna touch it right now. Thanks for the fiber. But, I don't know, we'll explore. Project R3D, 100, 199 to cover the development of the 3DPN cube. Nice. Oh, it's dumb. Joe, I love your face, man. When I was back at Murph, I was at a table, and I looked over, and there was Joe with some people. It made me happy just seeing him. And when I walked up to the bar to get a drink, as walking back, I stopped, and I talked to Joe from Project R3D, and he is a jolly good fellow, a wonderful human. I love his face. I can't wait to see him again. This is very slow. Remember that part in Austin Powers where the Zamboni <laughs> is going for the guy? And... Is it Austin Powers, or is that Deadpool? Oh, it's, oh, it's Deadpool. Which one's in Austin Powers? It's a, it's a construction thingy, it's a flattener thingy. Oh, oh, uh, Steamroller. 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 Yeah. Steamroller. yeah. Nate Williams with a heart. Ah, love you too, Nate. Was that the Manila effect where it was in Austin Powers and now we're in a different universe and it's not? <laughs> Groovy, baby. <laughs> Dude, I remember watching Austin Powers. I'm like, these are funny. These are awesome. And now looking back, I'm like, they don't hold up. These don't hold up at all. The humor was funny back then. It was funny back then. Yeah, yeah. Under today's standards, I think might be uh, a little politically incorrect. A little, <laughs> a little misogynistic. Yeah. A little bit. You know what? I enjoyed it at the time, and I and I can recognize getting older now that I'm like there are things that I used to enjoy that I don't enjoy as much now, and that's just one of them. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It is going to touch the nozzle to the bed, and greatness shall occur. Yes. Okay. Oh, it did it. Look at that. Man, it's really dark. It is a little dark. Okay, there is a little light that goes off when the nozzle touches down. So it is going to be like a CR6 SE. It's going to... Um... Okay. It, it's going to use, what, an FSR? Or like a strain gauge in there? Yeah. Whatever it's called. So I like pin to probes. I think it's great. Uh, the BL Touch, uh, Paris over there in, uh, in Korea, developed a fantastic product. 
But any time that you can use the, the nozzle that you're printing with to level or to create the plane that you're going to print on, I mean, that's best, right? Because at that point, there's no offsets to deal with. Uh, it's not dependent on whatever things are heated up or not. It's pressure sensitive against a surface with the surface that is going to extrude. So I, it, just, it just seems like the optimal way of doing things. Patrick Casey, the 3DPN cube should have spiky hair on top. Ooh. Sajin Dinger, I think he, Austin Powers or, or uh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers, yeah. Uh, has been cringe ever since he made the love guru. I never what, saw that one. What? Oh, there was a there was a movie recently or a show or something where someone was talking about Mike Myers, but it was like talking about uh, you know the, the the horror Mike Myers. How you married? Oh, how are you married an axe murderer? You married it right? What? Oh, the hor Oh. The, yeah, the horror, the, the, the horror. Oh, the, horror, the Michael Myers, Michael Myers like, like of, yeah. of Halloween. Yeah, yeah, of, of Halloween, of Halloween fame, and the, the, it was a comedy. And someone, the response was, "Oh, not, not the love guru." Oh, it was um, Shit's Creek. Ah, uh, okay. Moira. That's fantastic. Yes. It's amazing. Robert Martin with one dollar. One dollar, Martin. Thank you kindly. I'll put it to good use. Pillars Mark needs an LED in the hot end. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Agreed. I think it's a good idea. I'm on board with it. But then what do you need What's more What's it wires? hitting? What's making that sound? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. No, no, it's um, the, the, the mesh of the, around the bed cable. Okay, it is now level. Nice. I mean, at this point, we... Do we have to use this? <laughs> In. Let's load filament. Yeah. You know, it comes with, you call it desiccant, I call it desiccant. It's. God, these, these get oh, so. No. Oh, no. So see, they're, they're. No, I don't, I don't like filament when it's given to me like this because you get that. That's terrible. I hate that. Sure you want to use that filament? <sighs> yeah. I don't even want to deal with it. Okay. Um. Let's not use a sparkly filament this time. Well, okay. Then let's use... Here, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about this? I got an idea. Okay. Got an idea. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. This is gonna be perfect. Oh my gosh. Hot diggity. Woo! Woo! I mean, it's got a little bit of sparkle. This is DOS filament. In fact, look at the label. Look at the label right there. What's it say? What's it say? Tom's 3D Infinity Blue. This is Tom Sand Ladder's DOS filament. Nice. Yeah. And this is on a Rich Wrap Master Spool. Oh. Beautiful work there. Oh my gosh. I've had this for years. <laughs> years. And it was sitting over there on the CR6 that I just haven't used in a while. Alan Klein with three. Thank you, Alan. I think we use it. Sure. What do you say? I like that. Oh. Here, wait, wait. I want you to, can you get me, my face, and this in the same photo? Yes. Okay. On, on the count of three, I want you to take a screenshot and tweet it at Tom oh. and let him know that I love him dearly. There we go. Because I'm using his filament. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Screenshot that, if you can, and, and tag uh, Tom. Yeah. Oh, good times. Oh, it just feels so good. It feels so good. So good. Using Tom's filament. Okay. 
trying to get it through the filament sensor. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to. It's I'm not all sugar cubes and rainbows. There we go. I'm gonna give it a, a pointy end. Maybe it'll fit. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got. We got a little filament coming out. Pretty poop. A little bit. Just a little bit. I think, though. Apparently, they tested with white. What? They tested with white. It looks like it. So I think we're at that point where we get to start a print. Nice. Let's see what's on the media. So they give us, um, I've got an SD card adapter and I've got a micro SD card, two gigs in size. Wow. That's, a, that's not bad. That's and then bad. they give us a USB card reader just in case you don't have one attached to your computer, which I think it's great. Uh, it looks like Does it, load via it takes uh, it takes either USB media or it takes micro SD cards. Gotcha. I, my wow wasn't for the two gigs; it was for the all of the options they give you. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. So let's see. Back, back, print. Oh, look at that. Onboard SD or U-Disk. Well, onboard. What's there? Okay, Cura, installation tutorial, models or user manual. Models, Cub Bank or Pokemon. Nice. Or Pokemon. Okay. Everybody in the chat, I, I just, I mean, I can't take a real poll. Can you do real polls in YouTube? I have no idea. Probably. Nope. <laughs> Wait, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Create a poll. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can do this. Ask a question. Okay. What is it? Cub bank or oh, cub? Okay. Let's see. What to print first? Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Cub bank. Pokemon. Everyone's saying Pokemon, so. I, well, <laughs> I'm doing a poll, so they're going to have to. Okay, where does the poll show up? Uh, just in the chat. It showed up in the chat. Oh, it does? Yeah, I, okay. I voted. Well, how does it tell? Oh, here's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so there's 50 votes right now on the poll. Cub Bank with 18% and Pokemon with 82%. Glendon with a fiver. Here is a five for the children. Hope everyone is having a fantastic evening. Thank you, Glendon. High five to you. We'll give that off to the kids. Absolutely. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Cub Bank, 169 votes. Cub Bank is pulling... Not ahead, but it's got 21% of the vote now. Mm. With 169 votes, Pokemon is winning. We've got 484 people watching. I at least want to go until we have half of the audience. It looks like Pokemon is going to win. Like, it really... Use this as a... Use this as a time to take a beverage and, and sip from it. The question is, what Pokemon is it? I'm Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I'm guessing it's Pikachu. But, mm. but I'm hoping it's I mean, not. we could put the G-code in a G-code viewer. Mm -mm. Should we be surprised? Yes. I mean, it's going to be a very slow surprise. Yeah, Pokemon. There's 239 votes right now, and Pokemon is leading 78% to 22%. So it's a wash. Yeah, it's, or, it's, 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 a, it's a wrap. I mean, it's, it's a wrap. Pokemon. Pokemon is going to jump the bed to 60C. Let's, see, well, let's try this. Tripod's garage wanted me to hold that down. That doesn't do anything. Oh. Okay, that was adjusting the temperature of the nozzle. Weird. Okay, I don't know what that does right yet. But we are warming up. We're gonna be printing with Tom Sandladder's filament from Das Filament on a Rich Wrap Master Spool. Also, everybody, if you could take a moment and thank BQ for sponsoring this stream. They 
They wanted to sponsor the stream to get the word out about the BQ B1 SE Plus that we've got right here. And um, they wanted me to show it to you. So that's really kind of them. And what's really awesome about live streams is it's, it's like skydiving, hoping you have a parachute because it's live. When I, when I open the box, uh, it, it's, it's not like I'm trying to hide anything or, or do anything. It's just, it is what it is. And so BQ has a lot of confidence in this product and wanted me to show it to you. And they wanted to promote a live stream. And I find that thrilling. <laughs> I find that thrilling. I agree with the chat. I hope, I hope it's a squirtle just because then the blue would make sense. You know it's not going to be a squirtle. <laughs> it's probably going to be like a, Low what's pop. the fish that flops around? Magic carp? Yeah, it's probably going to be a magic carp. That'd be great. Would it be great? I'm going to end the poll. I want to thank everybody for voting. Brett Packard with a tenner for Sean's designer milkshake after the stream. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Prime? Ooh. That I guess that's not where you put those. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, on the floor. Well, I, thanks for that, Captain Obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got, man. Just knocked that right off. Here, it's just making the skirt right now. There we go. Uh, I got to put something on it to keep the bed from going anywhere. Do I have a... Uh... You know what? I said at the very beginning, these are not my... This is not my favorite way to keep a bed. Right? That's correct. You did. Okay. Oh, oh. my gosh. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to use this. Well, that would be funny. Yeah. Let me see if I can't find one more. Ah, here we go. One more binder clip. I'll just uh, stick it in the back right here. Okay. Oh, look at the pattern. It looks like this Pokemon has four legs. Ooh, could be a Squirtle. Could be. Joseph Cobble with 15. That's one, two, three high fives. Congrats on surviving the elevated footwear adventure. Here's fives for you, Sean and David. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Oh, and LTMW. Well, I appreciate that. That's really kind of you. I'm really glad we survived it as well. Um, uh, in the After the Five that I posted to Patreon and the Windows, or I'm sorry, the YouTube members, uh, you get to see David and Sean on these as well. What? In, my, in the After the Five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how are we on uh, Z Offset? Or? Z Offset is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It says it could be a smidge lower. smidge but that's for temperature okay it looks like they don't have um micro micro stepping My, or uh z what do they call it like um yeah i believe it's bulbasaur i think people are all right bulbasaur yeah oh just because the, the, the claw you feet there i don't know my pokemans yeah Bulbazar. Everybody's like Bulbazar. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I got up close and saw what it looked like, yeah. It's, it I does, would agree. It does not tell me. How but long? maybe it would tell me how long. It does tell me it's been going for four minutes. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Look at Ooh, that. Nice. I'm just going to clean up right here for a little bit. That first layer looks great. First layer looks fantastic. Oh, they can't really see it, can they? No, I got to. I'll. I'll can you, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll adjust. Me to move this at all? Or I guess if you go taller, yeah, then you're... So, that's what okay, do. okay. Let me know when you're back on the main camera Dude, so I can entertain the audience. I am back on the main camera. Okay. Sean's moving a camera. Is, is that so how you I'm entertain them? you? <laughs> yes. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Well, this is going to be wow. terrible. You know, I wonder while it's going, um, maybe I put a, a zip tie around there? Sure. 
just to kind of If you're the only reason I have an iPhone, an Apple Watch. Why do you have an Apple Watch? Oh, so you can find your phone. <laughs> there we go. Looks a little cleaner. I'll snip off those ends at some point. D with 3D, Canadian 699. High five, eh? Say my name. Say my. You did. I did. D with, D with 3D. A fantastic channel. Came out of nowhere. Surprised everybody with how awesome it is. There we go. That was pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, legit. Let's just take stock of where we were. Uh, as long as you put all the screws in the right holes, the assembly goes pretty quick. Uh, leveling, spot on. Um, bed attachment, not so good. <laughs> Although I guess I had put it front and back, it would have been all right. But you know what? We recovered. We recovered. There we go. First layer is looking great. It's not super sparkly. There is a little bit of sparkly in the Tom's filament. Yeah. Did everybody tweet that out or, or tag Tom in it? I hope so. Caroline Diggers, I think it's a lightsaber. Ooh. I'd be a weird shaped lightsaber. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you're probably wrong. You know what I really liked? Uh, you never watched Rebels, right? Watch what? Star Wars Rebels. I did not watch Rebels, no. I like the lightsaber for the main character in that. Well, one of the main characters, Ezra. Okay. He built his own lightsaber that, like, it shot bolts of electricity or something. It, sh it shot, you could use it as a gun or a lightsaber. It was a wow. gun blade, but in lightsaber form. And I loved it. Okay. I wonder if someone's built that. I'm sure someone has. Uh, I do want to make mention that I did what I was asked to do in a previous video, and that was to only use the provided tools to assemble the printer and get it going. Now, is the filament that comes with it a tool? Uh, I don't know. But it's a 50-gram coil. It was tangled and... This just gave me an excuse to use Tom's filament from DOS filament, so I'm okay with it. Oh, oh I couldn't even throw it. <laughs> you couldn't just, even throw it. It just couldn't even slinky throw it. Apart. It does. It, ooh, it does come with a spare nozzle. Comes with some spare screws, adapters, lots of stuff. This was an easy one to put together, honestly. Robert Riggin, it's 100% Bulbazar. Yeah. Hope it's the flower pot version. Chad yes. Carter, uh, it looks like a frog. Does it look like a frog? It does. A little bit. It's looking down some spectacular layers. They look really good. They feel good too. My guess is it's a Bulbasaur. <laughs> Officially, that's my guess. Hey, do we know what speed this, what speed this is going? Do we know what, what speed? Yeah. My guess this is um, 45, maybe? Yeah, it's not going too quick. It's not going fast. This is not going fast. Uh, Rustolo. Uh, Clifton Donahue, what's the little flashes in the print? Little flashes. Uh, it is. It does have uh, some, some twinkly bits in it, and uh, the leveling sensor, when it, when it triggers, there's a blue light in here, and so as it's going, it's actually triggering that sensor. Uh, it's not paying attention to it because it's not doing a leveling, but everything all right? Yeah, I'm just seeing that bit. I mean, it kind of looks like it's kind of coming up a little bit, but I, don't, I can't tell. Maybe not. What was the... The foot, the, foot, the back foot there? Um, I think it looks okay. Okay. Although you touched it, so maybe now it's not. Right. Uh, the blue flash and the LED, 
is what they're asking for. Oh yeah, that 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 blue flashes. That is uh, that's the blue light that comes on when the leveling sensor is triggered, and because the nozzle is the leveling sensor, or what it uses to trigger the leveling sensor, and the nozzle is pushing out filament. When it gets to a corner, that that little buildup of pressure is enough to push the nozzle up slightly, which triggers the leveling sensor. Um, but it's not paying attention to it right now because it's not leveling the machine. Oh, I think someone said that the, the screws that you used earlier might be for a dual Z upgrade, and I think they might be right. That's where the motor is for the Z. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. They might do a dual Z upgrade. Oh. Well, Who's that? Oh, I mean, we know it's Bulbasaur now. Right. <laughs> right. It's just going so slow. Well, it is still doing bottom layers. I know. But still, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Got some. Oh, that was a, that was a. Super chat that I took that I took from someone that you're missing. Okay, I might have to speed that up. There we go. Dewitt 3D Canadian 279 filament is not a tool; it's a consumable. Accurate. I agree. Alan Klein, five dollars thirty-two cents. The screw also refers to use for the dual Z. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what Sean was just saying. He saw. So that's uh, that's a great idea because those are the exact holes that are used by the bracket that holds the. The Z motor over there, I would imagine, I would imagine there would be some sort of bracket over here to, to attach the lead screw to. It's a fun idea. Looks like there's a lot of space here to add on or clip on certain things. Uh, movements are quiet. Yeah, it's pretty quiet overall. I mean, it's not really going that fast. I cannot speed it up. Interesting. Oh, there is baby stepping. Okay, cool. Oh, and speed. Oh, wow, that's just... Okay, so if you, if you tap this button... Okay. It is nozzle, hotbed, baby step, speed, flow, fan, and back to nozzle. So if we go speed, um, normal. Oh. There you go. We'll go 125%. Okay. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be fine. And the nozzle is at 190. I'm going to jump it to 205 just because we're going to be forcing it to go a little bit faster. And the uh, temperature things up here do say 215C. Ooh. So. It's laying down good layers, though. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Now, the, the bed is 60, right? Right now? The bed is at 60. That's right. Well, cool. Okay, well, let's see. See what the chat's saying. Robert Riggin, probably they didn't include the dual Z upgrade, but I'm wondering if it's to demonstrate the effectiveness of their ABL. It's quite possible. Um, ABL worked great. And I mean, this is just the first print, but you know, single Z is gonna be fine for most things. Uh, it remains to be seen. Even Blankenship, go 200X, it can take it. It really can't. Uh, Caroline Diggers, have you said price yet? I have not. There is a link in the in the description that takes you to the BQ site. Uh, I don't think it was expensive. Now you got me thinking because yeah, I don't well, remember. It's on sale today, right? So is it on sale now? Let's find out. Yeah. There we go. The, this machine right here, the BQ B1 SE Plus, is three forty nine from the Big Tree Tech website. That's not bad. That's not bad. That build volume? 310 by 310 by 340, 32 bit, 
uh, board, ultra silent printing, filament sensor, power loss recovery, modular design, HD touchscreen. Okay, so it is modular in that they expect to upgrade do things. Yeah. I wonder what constitutes modular. Is it just the fact you can add a dual Z or is there <laughs> well, modular? There, there are well, there's extra screw holes. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Maybe that's modular, but it looks like uh, 349. It seems okay. I'm not, I'm not mad at that price. No, that's not a bad price. David Smith, two ninety nine on the Facebook link. Ooh. Okay, two ninety nine. That's decent. The, the only detraction I can really think of is it's not dual Z L, um, lead screws, but that's really really not going to hold you back. Dang, how many bottom layers are there? Maybe four. Maybe. Maybe five, maybe 10, maybe 100, maybe 1,000. Probably not 1,000. I wasn't paying attention. What you That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Robert Riggin, test the power loss. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Practical printing, you didn't miss much. <laughs> Blake Schwanka, smash that like button or like that smash button. I like that. Caroline Diggers, wow, that's a good deal for buttery looking layers. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Horton Upshot, old filament seems to be squirting well. Oh, is it? Uh, someone's saying the rear foot is lifting. Is it? Wait, wait. Is it lifting or is it just a. Uh, I think it's just, I think it's just like a. That's just how the model is, you know? You know what? Leave it. Full send. Yeah. Full send. Omar Al Amadi, nine ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Oh, hi, yeah. I don't have anything to say other than hi. So hi. Well, hi. By the way, like the nail polish. I think you missed a spot. <laughs> I missed way more than a spot. No, it's my my uh, my daughter Riley asked if she could paint my nails, and I said yes. But you get two, two nails, and you can pick the two. So she picked those two, and um, a lot of it is worn off. So I'm gonna have to, she's gonna have to touch it up. I don't know if she's watching right now, probably not. She's probably watching either Futurama or Adventure Time. Adventure Time, come on, tell your friends. Love that. Did you say they're doing a Fiona and Cake yes, spinoff? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Core 3D, someone do something interesting, JK. Listen. You gonna make Sean dance? No. Nobody wants to see that. Sean was drinking on the stream still. You might sure. see that. Sure. You might see that. Oh, Raider, Raiders25 said hi to BQ and BQ responded. Thanks for responding, BQ. Add an M open lead screw, question mark. Um, I don't know what you mean by open. Um, the lead screw. Um, Maybe just not supported on top? Is not supported on the top. Uh, it, do, it does go through the nut here. Uh, I, I think it's proper. I think. Brian Schultz, I designed a first draft Joel 3DPN cube. Aw. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, no, Alan that's... Klein with two. Always press the like button twice just to be sure. Oh, Ooh. Three there times. you go. Three times. There you go. There you go. <laughs> non fam, that's a good price for the size. Price of an Ender 3 Max that have no ABL and is 10 millimeters smaller in XY build volume. Yeah, that's, I, I would say that's accurate. I think this is priced effectively and competitively. Sharpie 345, LOL. This will probably still print better than my Ender 3 with a Hamera. You know, I've yet to use a Hamera. I have one. I just haven't used it yet. You don't have a Hamera. I have do a, have. I have a Hermes. You have a Hermes. Hermes. I have a Hermes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got, <laughs> I got the extruder before they had to change the name. And so it's almost like I shouldn't use it. I should, I should bronze it or something. Right. Kurtville check. What model are you printing? Well, Kurt. Uh, this was titled Pokemon. And it was on the SD card. Or, yeah, the micro SD card. Brett 
Packard petition for Sean to dance. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This stream right now, 504 Ooh, viewers. There's 223 likes. If we can get to 500 likes, Sean, I will video Sean dancing and tweet it out, and he will retweet it. I hate you. <laughs> so we just got to get to 500 likes. Ooh. I think that's fair. Fair, right? That's that's the amount of people watching the stream currently. If you want to see Sean dance, I'll videotape him dancing and we'll put it out on Twitter and he'll retweet it on his own account. Is that all I my think... dignity is worth to you? 500 likes? Do you want to know the answer to that? <laughs> it's worth less to me, so it's fine. <laughs> it's like it did lift a bit. Okay, so whoever was saying it lifted, it did lift a little bit. Dan the bait, gotta be Bulba, it's true. John TSE, John C, what layer height is this? My Ooh. guess is I don't know. Um, I wonder if we can determine. It doesn't, well I was thinking maybe on the uh, baby stepping, but it's not gonna tell me where I'm at. So, so what's the thing? Got it. I don't know what the layer height is. I think if we were to bring the G-code into a G-code viewer, we could figure it out, but but that'd be a bad thing, so. Yeah. We're at 313 likes. That's pretty good. We're getting there. Stop. <laughs> David Smith is saying that this machine is 299 on Amazon. Okay. That's actually pretty good. 299 for this, that's not bad. Reasonable being, not lifted, looks like overhang. Well, maybe. See, that's what I was wondering. But the other side has those same sort of um, claws, and they're down all the way. It says we are 3% of the way printing this model. 3%. Well, that's not much. <laughs> Hazard Smurf with the cheers. Ian Smith just joined. Looks like a crunchy frog treat. Well, I don't know. I don't have frogs, so I don't give for them frog treats. But if you have frogs and you give them crunchy tweets, tweets, crunchy treats, then you would know. I don't know. Oh, before the stream, we had, uh, has anybody had bugles? Bugles, we got ranch bugles, and we got hot buffalo flavor bugles. Yeah. I don't know if you've had bugles, but if you put these together, they taste wonderful. Hey, Sean, I got an idea. Well, what is your, what is your, oh, yeah, I mean, well, hold on, I don't know which one's which. Mm. I think that was a poor, poor idea. Very little crumbs on the desk. Uh-uh. Did I do that? 336 likes, we're getting there. <laughs> Alan Klein with a buck 01. Thank you, Alan. Box Rocker 123 has a question. Everybody. Do we have an answer? So. Go ahead and ask. We'll see what happens. Tom Lama, I haven't had bugles since like the 70s. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, I've had them since. In yeah, fact, probably like two hours ago. Yeah. And they were wonderful. Wombat, 74. I had bugles once, but some antibiotics cleared that up. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Robert Riggin, the best bugles are the cheddar and caramel mix ones. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Fariku, Sean can dance and Joel can sing. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't. Uh, I can probably sing as well as Sean can dance. Yes. And it's perfect. Never going to give you. Well, right? Oh, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could, we could rickroll people. Should it just be on the, the, the Twitter? Should we do a 3D PN dance? We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. And so do I. Hey, this is looking good. 
I, you know, obviously, it's a, some of it is a function of the fantastic filament, but the printer's laying it down really buttery smooth. Mr. Captain's Gray, Cap Captaining Ray, Mr. Captain Stingray. I knew I would get there eventually. Bugles Ooh. are life. Nick Darrow, sing it in Kermit, Kermit voice. Yes. Uh, we don't know. No, I, I can't do, I can't, I can only do, I know, Kermit the Frog here. I can only do that. I can't oh, do other things oh, like, oh, it's, we are no strangers to love. No. You know the rules. And so do I. I mean, kinda. Kinda. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna don't quit your day job, Joel. Isn't, uh... yeah, please don't quit your day job. Box Rocker 123, is the Monoprice Mini Delta a good 3D printer? Personally, Box Rocker 123, I don't know the answer to that. I haven't used that machine. It's an older machine, but I think there might be someone in the chat that has, and they might be able to answer your question. Stephen Blankenship, what is that? 20% infill? Um, you might be right. It's got a lot of fill in there. Cyberwolf, yeah, I gonna go make some spaghetti? Oh, yummy. Feasible being, oops, the plus version on Amazon, $300 after coupon. The Amazon uh, price of the regular B1 is 279 Ooh. Camo 329, I have a question for you. Everybody's got questions, Camo 329. Ask away. We'll see what we can do. Nick Darrow, nice voice. You stop it, Nick. It is not. It is not. What brand of filament are you using, Joel? I am using Thomas Sandlatterer's Infinity Blue from Das Filament. So in German, Das is the, is the word the. Right. Yeah. So this, in German, this is the filament. Like Das Boot. Right. It's the boot. The boot, yeah. Mm. So in German, if I remember German. high school, um, nouns are gendered because they've got Das, der, and D. So das is gender neutral for, oh. for the, but if you say like der boot, it is the male boot, and d boot, it is female boot. Female boot. Yeah. But I don't think it's like that because I think, uh, like the Tannenbaum is Christmas tree. And I, and I don't know what the the is for that. I don't know if they're assigned a specific der, d, or das, or I don't know. Yeah. I didn't take German. What? YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming? Yeah, it's pretty choppy. No. Oh, it's back. Is it back? Yeah. Okay. It's less choppy. It's not choppy. That's good. It says good? Yeah. We should be good. It says good. Maybe the Dell Optimizer is doing something. So we're running this off the Dell laptop. Uh, we're doing some configuration things just to, to, to make sure it's working well. And every once in a while, there's a hiccup. It doesn't. <laughs> it's just a hiccup. And just because I haven't configured it, configured it. Yeah. yeah. Alan Klein with a $2 off brand or name brand soda. Uh, personally, I like Coca-Cola Zero. You know, some people are, are ride or die Diet Coke, and I'm not one of them. I think, I think Coke Zero tastes better. Much better, actually. I yeah. think Coke Zero tastes better than Diet Coke, and I think it tastes better than regular Coke, because regular Coke, Coca-Cola, tastes too syrupy. Unless you're talking about the bottled Coca-Cola from Mexico, that tastes okay. Well, there's only like six ingredients in that, so I mean, it just tastes like cane sugar and wonderful. That's the best Coca-Cola to make a Coke float, as long as you're using vanilla bean ice cream. French I should have been a food streamer. Should have. Though I feel like people would have very conflicting opinions based on what you just said. Uh. We gotta have that, uh, Stephanie from that cake, that cake channel. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's see. Jeff Eggleston, boot equals boat. So oh, Das Boot is the boat, the boat, which oh. makes sense because it's all about a boat. Right, yeah. Uh.
Scott Latine, Coca-Cola is destroying the health of ordinary Mexicans. Screw Coca-Cola. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Can it destroy the health of everyone and not just the Mexicans? Or is it only the ordinary Mexicans and not the extraordinary Mexicans? I hate to be specific, but, or is it pedantic? No, pedantic is like bad. Right. Okay. I love you, Scott, you know it. Robert uh, Gwentz, what is the best infill pattern? Yo, gyroid. 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 Yeah. Gyroid. Hmm. Gyroid. What's that infill over there, Sean? It's gyroid. It's gyroid. I'm pretty sure. You want to show oh, it? You, yeah, here. Are oh, you going to throw it? Nice. So if I do that. Hold on. Hold on. I got to find the focus. Focus. And I got to. You got it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's gyroid. It's gorgeous. A little bit more towards the front of the desk. It's not the front. The front is towards me. Towards this way. Oh. This way. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not good at holding things still. I know. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Love it. There it is. Gyroid or die, man. It's the best. Jody Alberger, I think Mexican coast, Coke tastes flat. Well, you know, if you're coming from a canned or plastic bottled soft drink, uh, typically the glass bottled soft drink is going to not taste as carbonated. And if you're accustomed to the carbonation levels in the can or plastic bottled drink, then it is going to taste flat, but it's not. It's just less carbonated, which is just crazy. Omar I'm, El Amadi, 999, are you out of your mind? For the Coke Zero, I see you're a man of culture. <laughs> yes. My favorite Coke I Zero. I love though, it. Favorite Coke Zero is Cherry Coke Zero. I love it. Alan Klein with a fiver. High five. I find a TikTok channel that puts food into infill. You could do stuff like that food and 3D prints at the same time or make cookies on the build plate. Yes. I do like cookies. I do like cookies a lot. At 100%, it looks like the overhang uh, for the front part of the Pokemon is a little, uh, looks like it's suffering just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. BQ 3D printer. Print ice cream for your cat. Oh, oh I see. Okay, so Scott says... The trouble is, in parts of Mexico, it's hard to get decent drinking water, so people turn to Coca-Cola. That actually makes a lot of sense. And, I mean, I know we have problems like that here in the United States where stuff that is better for your health is harder to acquire or costs more than the stuff that isn't nearly as good for your health. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Well, Scott, are there any charities or or missions in Mexico that are trying to bring clean drinking water to areas where it is needed. Uh, I'd love to hear about that. It sounds like that's a good effort to back. And if you know of anybody or any, any nonprofits doing that, um, let me know. And I'd like to promote that. I think that would be, that'd be a good thing. The 3D Lab 2.0. Joel, have you ever heard of the Rain City superhero movement? Uh, I have not. I have not. Simon K, high five, Joel. Have you seen that FlashForge have updated flash print to V5 or will that gather dust in the corner like your Creator Pro? <laughs> See what you did there. They just updated it today, or at least it was just announced today. And I've got an Adventurer 4 coming soon that you'll get to see. And so I am gonna update my flash print and do some more prints on the Adventurer 4. See how it works out. Uh, we'll see gathers dust. It's not dusty in there. We close the door. Oh, light speed. That's really not true about Mexico anymore, Scott. 
your wife is Mexican. I remember you saying that. She says that's not true anymore. Okay, well, that's interesting. Stephen, um, uh, with, with, if your my wife is from Mexico, um, uh, if it's not true anymore, I mean, that's really good to hear. I, I would love to hear, though, um, if, it's, if it's just less or if it's eradicated. If it's less, though, there's probably going to be some effort to bring cleaner drinking water, I would imagine. Well, anyway, if you could ask your wife or if you know if there are any efforts to, to provide cleaner drinking water to places in Mexico that need it, I'd love to hear about it. On Stern, hello everyone just joined. Hello, John. Eyes had, CR10 Smart Review. <sighs> it's ongoing. I, I've got that CR10 Smart and it's It's like every other CR10. <laughs> Saying that, and I'm not trying to be negative about it, but the CR10 series is, it is what it is. So I, I, the Wi-Fi doesn't work for me on that. I don't know if it's because I got a pre-release unit. Um, it prints well, but there's nothing special about it. Like nothing. So I don't know. I'm just not too jazzed about it. But if, I mean, I'm trying. I am trying. Robert Griffin with a 20. That is four fives. Thanks to BQ for sponsoring my 3DPN fix. High five, Joel and Sean. Ah, oh, thanks, Robert. Thank you. That goes to the milkshake fund. The designer milkshake fund. Yeah. For designer milkshakes, whatever that means. Whatever that is. I don't think we have designer milkshakes here in the Seattle area. I mean, maybe we I'm do. I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Somewhere. Somewhere. Boy, I tangled this up good. My second favorite diet soda would be Diet A and W. Really? Root beer. Okay, that's oddly specific. Yeah. It must have really um, left an impression on you. It did. it did. That's good to know. Alex Swavely, Seattle could use better drinking water. <laughs> could it? I don't know. My water tastes good. Yeah, just don't drink anything out of the sound. You'll be all right. <laughs> John Stern, this is the worst Chep Cube I've ever seen. <laughs> Big Jano, hey, just want to say drop it and say everyone. Plus, uh, plus side, I'm actually in the correct time zone for a Joel stream. Hey, Big Jano, I didn't know you're on the West Coast, Best Coast. West Coast, Best Coast, right? Yeah. Big Jano, you guys got to know, he just did his Jano Leafs, which were Arduino controlled light things on his wall. So definitely follow him and go take a look at it. It's a wonderful project. Uh, Gene C, the Siege Tower, uh, question, will you be unboxing the new Elgu Jupiter? Uh, so far, I don't think so. Um, they haven't inquired. Uh, as far as I know, they haven't sent it to me. Um, and uh, it's a Kickstarter machine, and so I, I don't want to do anything unless uh, the Kickstarter is closed. It's been really, really difficult showing off machines available on Kickstarter. And yeah, yeah, I know everybody's an adult and everybody can make their own decisions, but it still sucks. It still sucks. <laughs> still sucks. Joseph Cobble, could you do a video discussing printer safety? I assume with as many printers around, you have a few precautions in place. Uh, that's actually a really interesting idea. I'll take that into consideration. Thank you, Joseph. Brian Vines, 999. Are you out of your mind? Good night, everybody. I need to do some things around the house. Have a great rest of the stream. Joel, Brian, I love your face. Your hair is fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I will be sad that you won't be with us, but I hope you enjoy your evening and have a good sleepy time. If you can, find yourself an adult beverage and consume it. Possibly. Uh, Mike Dang, what extruder is this using? Is it the H2, a higher tier? Uh, I don't know. This is the first BQ machine I've used. And so it looks like... It looks like every other extruder on this type of machine that I've seen. It doesn't look like it's a special extruder. So I don't know what you, what you mean by the H2 or higher. Um, I'll have to look into that. Sorry, I don't know. Varna48, question, what is the service life of the leveler? It seems to be activated all the time. It's actually a really good question. BQ's in the chat. Hopefully they pick up and, and answer that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. 
Don't know. My goodness, this is a lot of infill. Oh no! You unplugged it. Oh no! What happened? Oh no! What'd you do? Oh no! The power went out. So it says it's got power loss detection. Did anything happen? Um, you had to turn it on first. I don't think so. No? Uh-oh. Ruined it. Oh, wait. So when you go to print, it tells you there is a print in progress, I think. This is new. Let's see what happens. Okay. Did it do anything? Your fan's going. Yeah, it's doing something. It's heating the bed right now to 60. Um, so it didn't, let me, it didn't let me browse the SD card. When I went back to print and I chose the SD card, it then popped up a, a path to a G-code file and it might have been like a, a progress into it, and it, it said cancel or confirm. So my thinking was that is the resume file. So I hit confirm. And so now what it's doing, it's heated the bed to 60C, and uh, it's now heating the extruder to 205. Remember, it was at 190, and I set it to 205 via the screen before. So it must be a resume file because it was saving state. That's awesome. Printing, capacitive or resistive touch screen? I don't know. Tasty beverage or ultra tasty beverage? Tasty beverage. Typically. Honed. Look at that. Okay. Mark that as a success. We'll mark that as a success. What's that? Who? Moving the camera. Oh, the I'm camera. Like, I was like, what, what, what? <laughs> Just me. Andrew Humphrey. Sorry I missed it. Does it auto level like the CR6SE? Yeah. Uh, I can't confirm, but I would say I'm pretty sure it does a very similar thing. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Nick Darrow just told Builders Mark he's evil, so I don't know what happened, and uh, I, I don't know. No. Is it, is it doing okay? I'm just making sure. I think it's doing okay. Like it. Does it? Wow. Oh, it looks um, a little boogery. Yeah, but uh, the butt's a little boogery. Just a little bit. It could be the filament. So is the legs over here. Yeah, it could be the filament. The filament's old. But these legs look fine. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, interesting. Builder's Mark, we're discussing milk dudes. That makes sense. Michael Grugel, that's fix some dude! For the $5, high five. Whoa, is that a 340Z? Or are you just glad to see me? <laughs> 
There we go. All right. Tim Roseberry, what is flashing inside through the fan? That's going to be the light of the leveling sensor triggering. This Pokemon is going to take forever. Forever. Sure is. McDarrow, the stream reignited my love of milk dudes. Clifton Donahue. We call those Klingons. Yeah. So far, we've had a fair amount of success tonight. The only failure was in the thing that held the build plate on, and honestly, I could blame myself for that. Yeah. Let's speed it up. Going full send on these. 100% speed. Why not? Be fun. There we go, look at the move. So it's a Bowden extruder, which means that the motor is separate from the hot end, which means the hot end is nice and light and it can go faster. Are you gonna increase the temp too or? Well, it's at 205, that should be enough. I can, I can make it go higher. Okay, 215, there we go, let's just do it. There we go. Avarna 48. Have you ever tried a Tronxy printer? I have not. Someone asked if there's a separate part cooling fan. And uh, I don't believe so. I don't know the answer to that. I didn't see one. Well, I don't know. Is it? Um... Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Local maker, full send. Yeah. Yep. Nick Darrow, I vote for an all day unboxing marathon. Oh, if we're going to go all day, it's not going to be unboxing. It's going to be uh, taking apart and disassembling. That's what it's going to be. I see where the power lost it. Yeah? Yeah. It's just been thin as a line all the way through. Oh, yeah. All the way through. Yeah, for an all-day stream. We should do a charity thing. A charity stream? A 24-hour charity stream? Sure, yeah. We would that. just build printers all day? Yeah. <laughs> sounds terrible. It, it does. <laughs> it sounds I mean... awful. Like, you guys are terrible. Dougal, 3D printer, what are your thoughts on Delta printers? I like them. I like them. I've got a CBC and Artemis, and I've got a, an FL Sun racer. Is it an FL Sun? The, the SR racer? I don't know. It's at home. It's at home. The box, excuse me, is on top of the wizard 3D box from the 14-year-old in California, which is on top of the Phenom Prime crate. Sean, we got cobwebs up here, man. We've got to clean those. I wonder if that's coming through from the roof or what? I mean, are those like animal droppings or something? Maybe. The place is cheap, and uh, I don't pay for the power, so I'm not going to complain. Air and F geared. Or just build one Voron. It'll take 24 hours. Boy, that's true. Jason over at the LDO wants me to build a, a 0 0.1 Voron. I think that's what it's called. Those tiny little ones. They look kind of cool. Practical printing. Phenom Prime. Yes. A Phenom Prime, Chris. A 5.5K beautiful screen, too. You know what's great about the Phenom Prime? You know, if you look at the Elgo Jupiter, 
or the uh, the anycubic um, was it the the photon? I don't know. It's the one right there. What is that? Look at that box. This one right here? Not the small one. The big one under it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the machine in there? You can move the box, like roll it over. It said name, but that's not the actual name where it says name. I don't know. It says it right there. Photon Ultra. Oh, there a, no, look at the side facing me. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, Photon Ultra. So, yeah, the, the Anycubic uh, Photon Ultra and the Algo Jupiter, they're Kickstarter machines. Uh, some people hate that. Some people don't care. Whatever. I'm of, uh, I'm of, I'm, I'm of, it's really hard to showcase machines uh, destined for Kickstarter. Uh, the Phenom Prime is not a Kickstarter machine. Hallelujah. Robert Reagan, Rum and Rubbaging with Joel. That's the next live stream title. I love it. Oh my gosh. Like a, like it's just rum and rummaging. Well, that could get saucy. Alberta 3D, Joel, are you coming to Canada anytime soon? We can now. I can now, that's right. Uh, I've got an open invite to visit uh, Linus up there. I think it'd be fun. Um, I will ask if there's a better time than others. Uh, the schedule though is, is getting kind of packed because we're gonna be at Rapid TCT. I'm actually uh, hosting a panel <laughs> at Rapid with a bunch of industry leaders. No pressure. <laughs> No pressure. Avarna, uh, 48, uh, what time is it there? Do you ever sleep? It is 8 p.m. here, and yes, I sleep. Probably not a lot. Coffee Tech 101, by the way, great diabase video. Thank you. Thanks. That was a bunch of fun. That was a bunch of fun. Bunch of fun. Even at 200% speed, it's, it's going to take a while for this. Yep. Um, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. So, um, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm just going to back it down to 100% speed. There we go, 100% speed. Because here's what I wanna do. This is gonna take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Like what I can do when it's done <laughs> tomorrow, I can take a picture of it and put it on the Twitters and be like, look, here it is. Heck, I'll make a YouTube short. I know some of you don't mind that. about this? I'm going to open it up to questions. I've got, uh, let's do 10, maybe 15 more minutes. And if you have a question, put it in the chat and I'll see if I can't rapid fire answer it. Obviously, uh, I do know things other than 3D printing. So if you want to ask about that, <laughs> feel free. But again, thanks for BQ for sponsoring this first look at their BQ B1 SE Plus and uh, it looks like they've got a decent machine on their hands. There's a few nitpicky things I'd say about it, but other than that, I think I think they've got something that's got some teeth. Yeah, so I would agree with that. So what did I just get? Here we go. Derek Cirillo, 1099. Are you out of your mind? Joel needs to get rid of 3D printers he's not using anymore, and he's gonna unprinter them right here in the 3D printing nerd CD's unpaid intern Ellen. <laughs> that's right. Yes. You know, Captain Disillusion, uh, Alan Malikdijanian, wonderful human. I've, I've, I've met him a few times. I, I, he knows me. I know him. Good people. I really, really like him. Big Tree Check, $99. $99. You out of your mind, though? It's amazing live streaming. Big Tree Tech will produce more promising boards. Everyone, thanks for your support. Thank you, Big Tree Tech. Thank you. And BQ. That's amazing. Builders Mark, next fan mail Friday. Ooh. Think we can get one done for Friday, Sean? 
A what done for next Friday? You think we can get a fan mail Friday done for Friday? I think so. Next What's Friday. today? Wednesday? Next Friday. Film it tomorrow? Next Friday. Oh, a week from Friday. I think so. Next next Friday is typically next week, right? Not this week? Because then it would be this Friday. I, I don't know. Do you want to... Do, do you... Uh, I don't think I can do one by then. Okay. Well, no, because you're going to be editing other stuff, so I'd have to edit this one. Right. Got a lot of those things. This Friday. Let's do it. Boom. Right. Done. Right. Boom. Oh, you've committed. Boom. Boom. You'll film it. I'll edit it. Yep. There it is. There it is. Derek Zerlo, what make a 3D printing look better? Single match, single malt, match scotch, single malt scotch or go. premium beers? Uh, really, if you're in it for the long haul, I'd get a premium beer. I mean, if you can just sip your scotch, that's fine. Typically, I as I sip my scotch, I sip more and more at my scotch. And so it's not really, you see what I'm saying. Uh, if you're going um, to take a while, just uh, get yourself some tasty beers. Yep. I think that's a good way to do it. Alberta 3D, where can I get your Viper profile? Uh, download Prusa Slicer, tell it it's an Anycubic Mega S, change the build plate, or change the build dimensions, and there you go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Hybotics, hey 3D printing nerd, I'm making progress on my under 3V2, I just need a new heater cartridge and thermistor. I wish you the best of luck with that. Robert Riggin, somewhat local if you ever need to get rid of things. Uh, I'll remember that, Robert. Thank you. Oh, 329, I do have a question. Okay. <laughs> so ask it. Ask it. Yeah, John Stern, depends. In the UK, tomorrow would be next Friday, Sean. Well, I don't know. For, for no. <laughs> Mad P3D, yeah, what happened to Van Mail Fridays? Those are the best. Um... Well, the problem is uh, it takes a lot of effort to get those done. And typically the week is full of things such as preparing for videos, uh, preparing social posts, uh, spending time with my family. So uh, I'm trying to do, I want to do some strategic hires and, and, and hopefully get to it. Uh, I'd like to make more Fan Mail Fridays. Some people have reached out about sponsoring Fan Mail Fridays just because they want to see them go. And I like that idea. I like that idea. It's kind of fun. So we'll see what we can do. Practical printing. Skip the scotch and go straight to rum. I like that, Chris. Thank you very much. Ooh, Tripods good. Garage. Chicago Deep Dish or Thin Crust. Now, you'll get a crowd of people that say deep dish pizza is just, what, lasagna. Right, right. A casserole. A casserole. Sorry, a casserole. But whatever. I like casseroles. And so I like deep dish pizzas. I like being able to get just a chunk of pizza that's this thick and I can just chew on it. Yeah. Thin crust has its time and place because you need to be able to pick something up and fold it as you're running to eat it. That's where thin crust comes in. Well, is that thin crust or is it like the typical style crust at that point? Um, you know? I would say thin crust. So typical style of crust. I still like to, I don't fold it. Okay, I do. The, uh, I like Detroit style pizza. Okay. Actually, it's, it's it's like a deep dish, but like, I don't know, better. Nick Darrow just live stream fan mail Fridays. Um, maybe I'm thinking about that. It's possible. The problem is we don't know. Don't know what's in the packages, <laughs> okay, right. so I would have to pre-open the packages, and uh, that sometimes can ruin the surprise. So we'll see. We have we have we have ways around that. Uh, we're working on it. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, I could always open them first. And then yeah? You could, and then you could reopen them. <laughs> Jody Alberger. Did I miss something or was there a layer shift? So when we did the power resume, it looks like that, that layer that it resumed on uh, extruded just a little bit of extra. And I don't know why. But that's something that we'd have to bring up to, to BQ and see what's going on. Had I not lost lost power, it probably would have been okay. Thirty second delay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Lama, there is no best pizza. All pizza good. Yes. I, I mean, mean that's yeah. Yeah, I, I that's, agree. That's yeah. not a bad idea. There are some people we know who are pizza snobs. Oh sure. <laughs> yeah, I think the bumpy skin is uh, not intentional. Probably not. 
Robert Reagan, do it on a 30 second delay. I mean, that's always possible. Oh, my wife is saying she can open the packages first and then, and then uh, just to make sure they're okay, and then I can go live. That's not a bad idea. That, that would work. That's a good idea. Uh, Jody Alberger, but I, you know, it's, it is interesting that it did, it's not like it was a layer shift because it looks, it looks over extruded around the entire circumference of the model. And so that's why I'm thinking it's more of an extrusion issue than a layer shifting issue. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, pizza. Is John just... Stern, I'm a pizza snob. <laughs> Meat, cheese, bread, sauce, good. <laughs> that's all. That's me. Practical printing. Power loss started on the layer that was half printed from the beginning. So it's over print. That makes a lot of sense. Didn't even think about that, but that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Chris. Valerie mm HM, -hmm. your wife is amazing. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Andrew Henderson, Papa Murphy's is the best pizza. Well, mm. it is a take and bake. So it's interesting. So they give you a great start that you take home and customize. Like you can order something from Papa John's, but then Papa depending, Murphy. I'm sorry, Papa Murphy, Papa Murphy's. And then depending on how you bake it at home, that's really going to be your pizza experience. Because if my oven cooks different than your oven, we're going to have a different experience. Yeah. So maybe you just have the best oven. Yeah, like, like if you have like a wood... Or like a stone, what is it called? I don't know. Whatever. The uh, I, I would, I just don't like that because you pay the same price. You pay a you know a high price for that Papa Murphy's pizza, and then you got to cook it yourself. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, but it's usually filling and yummy. Sure, Alfie's pizza around here. You know, Alfie's pretty good. I think it's I think it's one. Dustin of the Speed Bender versus Soidberg. Who would win? Uh... Would they even, I guess they would fight. I think, I think, I mean, Bender is a robot, so he can, if they really were going to fight to the death, it would probably be Bender. But, but Zoidberg would probably just find a way to keep all the alcohol from him, and he would go crazy. I think. He would also probably just move, 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 move away. <laughs> Sergeant Dinger, we had mod pizza last night. I do like a good mod pizza. Yeah, me too. Joel thinks the secret to mod pizza is corn. Yep, corn's good. Um, Lama. Okay, favorite pizza is homemade English English muffin pizza. Have you guys seen on uh, TikTok? There are the someone did the, um, the omelet pizza. So they put pepperonis and cheese in a pan, and then whipped up a bunch of you know cracked a bunch of eggs, uh, whisked them, and then poured them in, and then put a tortilla on top of it, let it cook for a little bit, and then they flipped it over once it was done and they had themselves an omelet pizza. And apparently even the Italians that are on TikTok say it's really good. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So the speed was at 125% and then it was 200%. Now it's back to 100%. Does and, it make a difference? Uh, it looks like it might be. Yes, I would say so. Okay. The last you know, the little top here is like, yeah. you know, looking a little better. Okay. Those bugs. Did you keep the temperature the same? Uh oh, the filament just ran out. You, you, wow, who would do that? Why would it do that? The filament ran out. I'm gonna have to tuck it back into this master spool. Okay. What is happening? Nozzle parked, okay. Oh, that's the, I run out of filament noise. So this is where we run into an issue with the machine. The problem is the filament sensor in the back is so close where it goes into the extruder that once it notices that it's out of filament, it, it's really hard for it to back it up. Uh, I'm trying to get this out. So, did you ruin the Bulbasaur though? No, I didn't ruin the Bulbasaur. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to back out the filament. It's just gonna cut it. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Ugh. Okay. Um. Oh. Go. I'm gonna pull it that way. There we go. Nice. The filament sensor is really, really close to where it goes into the extruder. And so you, run, you, you can run into issues where even though you've run out of filament and it tries to back it out, it might not line up perfectly and it might not be able to eject it out of the filament sensor. So now we're at the point where we need to, let's see, confirm, filament part, okay. Oh, it wants more filament. Let's, you know what? Since we're just going to do a little bit here, maybe we can put in the white filament. Or is it a, no, it's in a bad place, isn't it? Wait, wait no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't go. Don't go. Stop, stop. Remarked. Okay, the messaging is a little bit interesting. Okay, it says, it says nozzle parked, and there's a confirm button. And so I think what it's expecting is more filament, is more filament at that time before you hit confirm. It's good to know. Yeah. I figured if we're going to make Bulbasaur, I might as well put him, make him green. Looks like we got some filament out of there. Okay, so I'm going to hit confirm. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. I see. And then it Look primes it the nozzle, which is good. Yeah. Okay, it primed it. Good job. Here we go. Boy, we've been just, we've been really bad friends to this machine tonight. No, the machine and I are kindred spirits. Aww. We only have bad friends. Aww. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got polyterra loaded in. So it looks like the filament runout procedure could use a little bit of work. It looks like the screen doesn't necessarily have the right language to describe what it's doing. Something like that would be an easy firmware update. Yeah. Um, uh, what's really, I'm really thankful that that's not like a, there's not something detrimental happening. I, uh, you know, that would require a firmware update to fix something. This it looks to be just messaging. And what's great is, so as a user, it only needs to happen one time for me to realize what's going on, and then I'll know what to do next time. I mean, BQ should still work on this a little bit, but now that I know what's happening, I, I, I know the proper way to do things. The only other thing I would suggest is because the filament has to come in here into the filament sensor way back here, I think it would be great if there was a PTFE tube here just to kind of keep this bend radius perfect. I think that would be, that would be a, a good idea. Fernando Di Maria. I think we need a wow again. Wow. 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 Uh, this Polyterra is newer. <laughs> it's not years old. But I do want to thank Tom's filament for making it possible for me to print with it. Okay, well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I think, um, Sean, go ahead and go camera one. So I think at this point, 
let's call it good. I think we've unboxed, well, okay. First of all, thanks to, thanks to BQ for sponsoring the stream and letting me be the one to kind of showcase their new machine to you. This is the BQ B1 SE Plus. Uh, it looks like we got it out of the box. It was pretty easy. It looks like we were able to load it with filament, get it going. Leveling was awesome. First layers were great. It looks like the power loss recovery and the filament runout detection are just a little bit, you should, you should do it once to just remember how it's done because it's a, it's a little bit tricky the first time you run into yeah, those. The wording is wonky. I don't know about wonky, probably tricky. Wonky would mean it like it haphazardly works. And I don't think this is haphazard. I think this is more in, like with filament runout, it's more messaging. Yeah, I'm and with saying, power loss, just, just the wording is not the actual execution. Of yeah, the execution it. of it is. Great. I think I yeah. think they've got good functionality. I yeah, think it just it needs a little bit better description. Yeah, but you know what? We're gonna let this print. Holly Terry is looking good. Uh, thanks to everybody for joining us. Thanks for everybody that uh, sent a few dollars in. That was really kind of you. I owe Sean a milkshake, Woo. so maybe we're gonna get ourselves a milkshake. Yes, that does sound good. Uh, well, let's see. Hug each other more, right? Like yeah. each other more? I think we're good. All right. And as always, see you on the next one. High five.